Yeah, well, I'm, I, you know, I'm a little English boy that grew up here, right, and it's just been steeped into me um, from a very early age, and you know, the DNA D workshops and all the rest of it. So yeah, I spent the first half of my career just kind of trying to, you know, get the work recognised, I guess, and you know, there was there was one book um, that kind of, if you were in it. And you would, you'd go at the back, man, and you'd see if your name was there and they'd see how many page numbers you got next to it. And um, yeah, it was yeah, a ruthless kind of, but you know, peer um, kind of approval. And it's always kept it, the standards incredibly high. Um, and, and I think it's managing the global side of things rather than just remaining British. It's actually kind of uh, managing the, kind of, the, you know, the globe, the global thing in a way that's still quite design and art direction focused rather than you know just advertising sort of focused and obviously the all the whole design side of it as well there's very little stuff in the world that isn't designed in one way or another and um, so yeah in terms of whether the education system is kind of supporting um, you know young designers I think actually I think England Britain you know um, not that it's British people, but that the attraction of uh, London in particular, I think it pulls, you know, really, really good people from all over the world. Um, and I, I, th I think the design um, education in the UK still pulls in a lot of the professionals. You know, you get close yeah, access to people. I've been in New Zealand 10 years, so I'm probably, you know, <laughs> it might have changed. Yeah, I'm just blown away by great design, but I'm equally blown away by the lack of it. Um, I actually just arrived in, in England a couple of days ago with my 19-year-old son who's studying design. And we were on the cab, you know, coming back from the airport and just looking at London and talking about buildings and stuff and things and tempor the temporary nature of a lot of things. A lot of things look like they, you know, no one actually really meant it. And, and then there's some buildings and some, you know, bits of the fabric of, you know, of London, which are just so beautifully designed that they're never going to change, right?